looking good. You ready? Yep, I almost got it. There we go. Famous punch coming through. Is it good? It's got to be good. Could be the best I've ever made. Hey, guys, he just pulled into the lot. Oh, he's going to be so surprised. Oh. What is this? Congratulations. You passed the EMT test. I, I did? I just got the letter. It's official. You're now a genuine, bona fide EMT basic. No doubt. As of today, you can check vitals, give oxygen, treat wounds. I hope I do OK. Don't worry. You'll be fine. Punch? Mm -hmm. Sure, thanks. Mm -hmm. Guys, you didn't have to do this, really. Yeah, we did. It's your welcome to the club. Now, how about a picture of the squad with its newest EMT? Yeah, that's a great idea. <clears throat> I'd like to propose a toast to the EMTs who came before us and those that will follow after. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> oh, what is that? Lemon juice, vinegar, Tabasco, and clam <laughs> Ugh, that's foul. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, it looks like we've got a few keepers here, especially this one where we can't find a place to <laughs> sit. <laughs> well, I'm glad I could give all you guys a good laugh. Oh, oh, chill. Everybody gets the EMT punch. Check it out. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yes. There you go. Now you really are one of us. I love this whole thing. <laughs> job then we could go back to buying the good paper towels <laughs> I don't think so the doctor said he still needs time for his heart to heal maybe mom got a promotion she just started three weeks ago and I guess that rolls out new car hey maybe it's a family vacation since dad needs a rest this is a perfect time oh, I hope it doesn't interfere with my piano recital Brooke I don't think we're going on a vacation did you know my piano teacher wants to have the recital here? It's kind of an honor. Plus, we have a big house. We're home! Hey, guys. Hey. Hi. Mom, is everything OK? Sure, honey, everything's fine. But we do need to talk. The cardiologist said your dad's doing great. But she doesn't think he should go back to work just yet. And that means we're going to have less money. So we have to downsize. No sweat. I can live with the cheap paper towels. <laughs> Brooke, honey, I, I wish it were as easy as just cutting corners. We have to sell the house. Our home? How can you even think about moving? Well, hopefully it's only temporary. But we just can't afford to live here right now. Temporary? Well, when can we move back? Well, we're not sure. Everything's a little uncertain. Which means that instead of using up our savings, the smartest thing we can do is find a less expensive place to live. I'm sorry. Dad, it's OK. We'll be fine. But it's home. Why couldn't this happen after the piano recital? Brooke! Brooke! 
It takes months to sell a house. And then you go into escrow, and that takes months. We'll still be here for your recital. Heck, we'll probably still be here for Christmas. Vomiting, fever, um, kind of delirious. She keeps talking about tapioca pudding and Amelia Earhart. Not now. Miss Ann is sick. It's probably flu or food poisoning. Uh, check her temp. So it just came on all of a sudden? Yeah. It's right in the middle of reading Bambi. She just started heaving all over the alphabet blocks. Yeah. Oh, Kyle, no. The blocks are icky. She could have found somewhere better than the block bucket to get sick. Well, you said yourself that it hit suddenly. Well, even still. Um, oh. Uh, oh, dear. Are you all right? Oh. Yeah, the women are stable, but the fevers keep spiking. So now there's like a million kids with no teachers, and they haven't been able to reach all their parents. No, 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 Penny. We don't hit our friends with the banana. Oh, Kyle, Kyle. No, no. It's all buggy zicky. All right? It's all buggy zicky. Uh, what are we? We're gonna have a little quiet time. We're gonna have to Hey guys, Alex is going to put the on call squad on standby while we take the teachers in. Meantime, I'm really sorry to say it, but uh, gotta leave two of you behind. I'm guessing low EMT on the totem pole gets to stay, right? <sighs> sorry. <laughs> and bow. Oh, don't tell me you're gonna be totally sexist to make the woman do the child care. Are you Hank? Apparently not. Todd, good luck. Come on. Oh. <laughs> hey. Hey, hey. Go. Hey. Oh, maybe, maybe we should rethink this. Hey, guys, guys, don't leave me. <laughs> what, guys? And they're talking about moving to Prospect Heights. Well, at least it's not so far that you have to change schools or anything. Yeah, but it's so far I'll have to start taking the bus. And so far I won't be able to ride my bike to piano lessons. And so far I can't hang out with you and Amy. So, uh, I guess what you're saying is so far no good? <laughs> bye bye, Emily. Again, we're football. Oh, I think I pulled something giving those kids horsey rides today. Again, more puff fun again. <laughs> and you gotta help me. My lips are gonna fall off my face. It kind of looks like you gave your arm a giant hickey. <laughs> oh, that's great. Now, well, this is not exactly the start I pictured as an official EMT. Well, what did you expect? I don't know. Just something more serious, more important, dignified. You know? <laughs> I mean, not so much... <laughs> I'm sorry I bit your head off. I've been bummed since that stupid for sale sign went up. Um, what sign? They changed their mind! Oh, I knew they couldn't sell the house! I knew it! Yes! Yes! I knew it! Yes! They sold the house! Our house, it's sold and we have to be out in two weeks. Brooke, calm down, you're not making any sense. Nobody moves in two weeks. Yeah, we'll tell that to mom and dad. They said we'll get some bonus if we're out in two weeks. But it takes the bank longer than that to do the paperwork. <sighs> yeah, well, the buyer's some important vice president at a big company. I think they have their own bank. And there goes my piano recital. Two weeks? And we're not even gonna get one last Christmas at the house. Mm. Come on, moving to a smaller house could be fun we make the best of it. Girls, can you bring those boxes in here, please? It's so tiny. <sighs> Dad and I think it's kind of cozy. Bedrooms are great. Want to see? Where are we going to fit the piano? <sighs> it's a problem we're still trying to solve, Brooke. Honey, right now, there's no room for the piano. 
Then how am I supposed to practice? Could you use the one at the school? And doesn't Nick have a piano? I bet you could practice there. Oh, sweetheart. I'm sorry, honey. Listen to me. Hopefully all this is just going to be temporary. But in the meantime, storing a baby grand would cost us a fortune. And the piano's worth a lot of money, which we could use right now. Fine. Go ahead and sell it. I don't care. Look, honey, wait a minute. 